Alright, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome everybody to Unity Day and our new Desi Cultural Show 09. Let you have a little glimpse of our culture and see how us brown people get down. <laughs> That's it. It's getting a chance to try something new. It's a new experience coming to college in general, so you never know what's going to happen. My biggest thing is getting involved. I mean, there's over 50 clubs here on campus. Um, if, you, if there's not one that you like, you can get 80 of your friends together and get one, you know, start up your own. So I joined the campus activity board just so I could be in the know of what's going on and hopefully meet some people. There's Penn Players, that's our theater organization club. Burke's Thon! Penn State Thon, we raise money for pediatric cancer. It's for the kids. Uh, ski club, they go on trips. You can take leadership roles more so than you did in high school. I mean, you know, most of the clubs here are run solely by students. Student Government Association, that's the big one. There's plenty of clubs that um, somehow relate to, you know, your field. I know that um, there's an education club. I know um, I was in WISE, that's Women in Science and Engineering. I mean, we have our own sports teams here. I'm on the dance team here. I know we have our Penn State uniforms and everything. Varsity, and um, we also have intramural and club sports. Those kind of three different divisions. I'm not much of a tennis player, but I tried something new. Volleyball, basketball. We have men's and women's cross country. We have baseball and soccer and softball, golf, ice hockey. We do have a lot of intramural sports here. And you know, we do have flag football teams. And you know, it's a lot of fun. You get involved, all your friends and stuff like that. They have a gym here, a basketball court. It's a lot of downtime to hang out, you know, and go places, see people, party. It's really fun to just hang out at Tully's. That is the cafeteria on campus. It's really big. Everyone's usually there. Um, if you're not eating, you're just hanging out. There's a calendar that they hand out with activities, so you can always be going to those. Definitely <laughs> our Laugh Out Loud series with our comedians every Monday, first Monday of every month. And that gets people to come together. They have dances. Comedians from HBO come. We had the Mythbusters people here. There's usually movies going on, midnight movies. We also have movie nights off campus where we go over to the local theater, Carmike, and see a brand new movie for $3. You know, we do trips. I'm going to New York City this weekend to see Broadway show. Bus trips and stuff up to the Penn State football game. It's probably the, one of the craziest things I've ever done. You're with a family of 100,000 friends. Uh, a lot of people go to University Park on weekends. If not, we have a lot of lakes around here. So I can, you know, be in the suburbs one day and then be in the city the next day. You know, an hour from the, uh, Philly. If you want to go to Philly, watch Philly's game. We have our own Reading Phillies, 10 minutes away. There's lots of gyms and um, there's a place called Body Zone that has ice skating. Tons of stores, malls, restaurants. Roller skating rink, late night Aussies, which has like go-karts and arcades. Philadelphia Rock Gym. Music, dancing. Have a couple of clubs in the area. I go snowboarding all during the winter um, at Bear Creek. If you can't find something to do off campus, you're not looking too hard. I like meeting new people. And I think that's the best way to get yourself out there is by getting involved in campus and just meeting people like yourself. Just meeting all the friends. I really consider all the friends that I've met here the best friends I've ever made. Even though it's almost ending, still meeting new people, still having more fun, still doing a lot of new things.